Well, Judge, how, how are October trials looking? No, I don't think so. We're going to have a meeting on Friday. We're going to have a meeting on Friday to see, I think. Give us a little bit more info. That's what I'm hoping. Well, I know, I know Judge Chu has been calling around to all the judges, so I, I figured that had something to do with, uh, with the trials. Right. Right, right, right. You know, this is what I really, you know, we've come to a screeching halt, right? I don't need to tell anybody, I'm preaching to the choir. There are lots of jurisdictions that have had jury trials and continued a little bit better than us. So I'm thinking that in good consciousness, I don't think they can say stop now. I don't think so. I don't know. I'll just do as I'm told. That's why they all get paid the big bucks. <clears throat> I just do as I'm told and that's it. But you know, we've got to get, we've got to get going. Other jurisdictions have gotten going. Right. Jason Rodriguez, Mr. Rick. Jason Rodriguez, anybody? Does anybody recognize that person? Jason Rodriguez, Mr. Rick, follow him, please. Yes, that's Mr. Wyatt's judge. Okay, very good. Okay, everybody, good afternoon. It is 1 p.m. 9-9-2021. Um, we're still in the midst of this pandemic. Hello, that's not a news flash, but because we are, we're still encouraged to hold hearings via Zoom and YouTube Live. So that's what I'm doing. I've got Ms. Mary Hankins. She's the official court reporter. She's the only one that can take down any of these proceedings, record any of these proceedings in any fashion. If somebody is found to be recording, you could be held in contempt of court. And of course, nobody wants to be held in contempt of court ever. Now, I've got Mr. Alassad, my bailiff, as well as Mr. Jesse Carrion, my court coordinator. Um, uh, there's an options bar at the bottom during this session. Anybody can utilize it. So please feel free to do that. Just ask us, ask me for permission. I'll give it to you because we've got to monitor it and make sure that everybody's behaving appropriately. Okay, with those instructions, with those limitations, who objects, and please verbalize it right now, who objects proceeding via Zoom and YouTube, let me know right now. Very well, let the record reflect that there are no objections. We're going to begin my one o'clock docket, Christina Apodaca, that's you, Mr. Wyatt, 2019-4561, announcement of counsel, please. Uh, Josh Avila for the state judge, stage ready. Um, Derek Wyatt, on behalf of Ms. Apodaca, respectfully ready to proceed, Judge. Very good. Ms. Apodaca is not present. Do you want to waive her presence, Mr. Wyatt? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so waived. What's the offer, Mr. Avila, with Ms. Apodaca? Judge, I believe it was a 1244B probation in this case. Wow, what are we waiting for, Mr. Wyatt? Um, yeah, that uh, that sounds pretty good to me, Judge. Okay, we're going to set it up for a plea. This is a non-custodial plea. Mr. Rick, we didn't discuss this, but I think you need to keep a separate list of custodial versus non-custodial. Okay. Don't go back, don't go back and, and redo what you've done. Right? But I think we need to do, do this. You know, if you want to do it simultaneous, I think it'll be easier for you, right, Mr. Salasan? So let's just start. Uh I'll I'll figure I'll figure out a way that's okay. easier for me. Okay, perfect, beautiful. What are the uh, what are the conditions, Josh? So um, I'll ask. <clears throat> excuse me. I'll ask around. Uh, Did you sneeze, Mr. Avila? No, Judge. I'm sorry. I had something stuck in my throat. Oh. Uh, I can do 20 months, Mr. Wyatt. Uh, just the alcohol monitoring machine. I do realize that there was a, a an, an accident in this case, but the the um i think the report qualifies it as minor yeah she rear-ended a semi the semi wasn't hurt too bad yeah it, it said i think in the report it says uh minimal i think there it is minimal damage to the rear end i won't ask for uh for restitution um 
I guess we can just get it going. You okay with that? We'll put it on the plea list to plea, Mr. Wyatt. And yeah. then sure, how much service and fine. And then five hundred dollar fine. And then the typical I do on state jails like these is sixty hours. Okay. Okay. Okay, Mr. Wyatt, we'll put it on the plea list. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. The plea. Your next one is Mr. Fernando Contreras. Are you ready for that one? At this time, court calls 2017-3964, Fernando Contreras, announcement of counsel. Josh Abla for the state judge. State's ready. Uh, Derek White, on behalf of uh, Mr. Fernandez, respectfully ready to proceed, Judge. No, Mr. Fernando Contreras, not Fernandez. Oh, oh, Fernando Contreras. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. I've got a bunch of similar oh. ones here. Fernando Contreras. Yeah, that's it. That's oh, it. yes, yes. Mr. Contreras, this are you you're present, Mr. Contreras? Do you recognize yes. your attorney? Mr. Wyatt? Yes, ma'am. And Mr. Wyatt, do you recognize your client as the defendant in this case? Yes, we've had two mistrials together. Ah, don't even, let's not. Two even, of them. Let's not even go back there. Mr. Um, let the record reflect both have identified each other. Mr. Rick, can you uh, follow Blue Celeste Montoya? Yes. Please? Very well. Now this is set for November or December, you guys. I really am going to try to vamp up and try these cases. So I have targeted about 10, 15 cases that I'm going to try if I'm allowed to, of course. And of course, if it's safe to do so um, in November and December. This one, I think, is set for late November, I think, everybody. That's uh, <coughs> it's set for October the 25th, Judge, and then <coughs> January 24th. Okay. Okay, you guys. So this is our last chance to work something out. If not, we're going to really try to try this case October. I, I've seen a lot of notes, Judge. I don't think this is something that might be settled. Settled. I, I think Mr. Wyatt okay. would want to take this to trial. Mr. Wyatt? We're gonna yes. Take trial for a th you're going to try for a third mistrial. <laughs> Try for a third mistrial. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Avila, what's the offer? I, I think there was a, a TDC rec before. Um, Can we give him the last rock bottom offer before we... You know what, Judge? I, I haven't even started to consider a rec in this case. Oh. Uh, I, I think this was just something that was, that, that was set for trial a while ago, so I, I assume there was never going to be any plea negotiations. How about uh, how about injury to a child and some probation? Uh, none, uh, a non non registrable offense. Yeah. No. Uh, if, the, if I'm going to ask for something, it's probably going to be registration, which is something he might not want to take. Okay, so it looks like we're going to go to trial. If you want a, a non registrable non registrable offense, Mr. Wyatt. It sounds like Mr. Avila's pretty dead set against that. It's oh, the guy, the guy's 71. I mean. Wow. Mr. Contreras doesn't even look 71. Mr. Contreras, you look very good. You look very good, sir. You don't look 71, sir. So that's good. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Okay, Mr. Avila, even the age doesn't move you at all. No? Uh, not right now, Judge. I... In all honesty, Judge, I think this is the first setting I've ever had for this case. Well, uh, I've actually that's reviewed it last week, and um, it's because uh, it's put on the trial list. Yeah, to try, to try it twice before you guys came, but you guys better get ready for this one. If we can go in October, we're gonna go. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, Mr. Wyatt. And Judge, you? just so, just so I can ask. What, what were those mistrials for? Was it war dire or was it middle of trial? No, I ran the panel both times. Okay, it was running the panel. Copy. Okay. On a, one on, once on a Friday and once on a Monday. Uh, the two favorite days. It doesn't matter which day of the week. I think Mr. Wyatt has the ability. He sets his mind to it to run the panel. 
Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Now, you, you know, just look, look at this. It involves a bunch of Border Patrol agents and there was right. suicide and you mm -hmm. know, all kind of stuff on this. So right. if, if you uh, think about an injury. I, I will. Think about, think about it. OK, you guys, this is the last time we're going to meet. We're set for trial October. Any issues, let me know. But get oh. ready. Start looking at it. Yes, what Judge, date we'll is do. that again, Judge? I think Josh, Mr. Avila just said October 25th. I have October 25th as the first trial setting and the second being January 24th. Okay, I'll put it down with, I'll start making my October list. For Dyer is October 22nd. Oh, see, oh yeah. Thank you, Rick. Oh, yes. okay. okay. So Friday, I take it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you, uh, I, I, I hear we might be doing some trials in November, but I, I, it seems like the scuttlebutt seems to be like we're not going to try anything in October. What, what are you thinking about that, Judge? Well. Or do you think October they're going to start going? I don't know what to think. All I know is that how come other jurisdictions do it and we don't? That's my only comment, and I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> are there are there other jurisdictions, Judge, that oh, are doing? Yes, there's been jurisdictions in Texas that have tried a hundred cases during COVID. Right, but I mean, I'm saying, are there are there other jurisdictions that are like us that they're not having jury trials? I have no clue. I have no clue. All I know, justice delayed, is justice denied. I think maybe Houston, Judge. I think maybe Houston, like one of those places that can be the epicenter, right? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I hear about this court and this court and this person. They've tried these cases and they were commending some judge in Texas somewhere that has tried, I don't know how many cases, the most cases in Texas. How many cases have we tried here during the pandemic? About three? Maybe one. Maybe one. There was, I know, there was a DWI case tried. There and was I a civil case tried. Civil, I think two. two. Didn't you do a civil commitment? I tried, but I we didn't we couldn't pick a jury. The panel was wrong. But I tried. Sort of it. But anyway, you know, I, yeah. if, if we can do it safely and we're allowed to, we're going to do it. If not, then we just have to be patient. I mean, there's not much else we can do. Judge, one thing to add, this is a five count sex case. I mean, if the restriction remained that like we, we can only have 57 people, uh, we'll probably need like four different panels. Uh, I'm sure last time we had about 150 or 200 jurors uh, twice and Mr. Wyatt and in a sex case that those panels got run. Got and we ran. Right. Yeah, I but think we did it down in... Uh the the commissioner's court there there's yes, uh, yes. If, if if i may i'm sorry derek yes if i may uh the friday was 200 in commissioner's court and then we did on monday 120 in our court and he ran both of them yes wow i'm impressed i'm impressed again mr wyatt i forgot <laughs> wow i'm impressed okay well guys, guys get ready work something out settle it if we have to pick three or four or five juries, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, oh well. This is a two yeah, it's a it's a twenty five to life, two alleged victims, like five or six counts. Two thousand seventeen case. Right. Mr. Mr. Contreras is, should be given justice. He needs his day in court. I'm uh, I'm 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 telling you, Josh. I think uh, I think an injury would be pretty fair. Let's see if that's even the lesser included. And just given the amount of counts, I don't think I'm going to do it, but I'm going to give it a first shot, Mr. White. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. That's, that's all you can ask for. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mr. Contreras. You may be excused. Have a okay. great day, everybody. The next one, Mr. White, do you have another one? Yes, ma'am. We have Alejandro Fernandez. That's where you were getting confused. Yeah, Alejandro there we go. Alejandro Fernandez, 2021, 241 and 242. 
State of Texas versus Alejandro Fernandez. Announcement of council, please. Josh Avila and Arifa Bradford, State Judge, State Ready. Uh, Derek White, on behalf of Mr. Fernandez, we respectfully ready to proceed, Judge. Is Mr. Fernandez present on this Zoom hearing? Mr. Fernandez? Uh, I believe he's still in custody, Judge. Oh, he is. You want to waive his presence? I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. Judge, I'll wait. just to let you know, he's on the yep. PR bond list. Uh, uh, okay, let's see. Well, I don't know. I may not waive it now, Mr. Wyatt. But he's in custody. He's in custody, Judge. And I think he's in custody because of whatever's on that PR oh, bond the list. Oh, PR bond list? Okay, good. And I think since then, Judge, we've agreed on a bond, but I don't think he's being able to afford it. Well, what, what did we agree to? How much on the so, bond? What happened, Judge, I don't know if you remember this case, uh, Mr. Fernandez got uh, rearrested on a smuggling of persons case okay. that about two months after he got arrested got declined. So I just agreed for his previous bond to be reinstated, which he was already out on bond. So if it got reinstated, why isn't he out? I think he needs to pay it again. I'm looking at one of the bonds, Judge. It's a, it's a split bond, 25000 cash assurity, 20000 PR. Okay. But the smuggling case got dismissed? Got declined, yes, Judge. So the only thing he's sitting in jail for is because he didn't go get UAs then? Mm -hmm. That's correct, Judge. So do you want him to pay another $25,000? Well, I thought maybe he could just reinstate the previous bond, Judge, but... Um... He's been in custody since January. He's got an evading judge, and he's got six counts of ag assault public servant. Right. Uh, but he was shot multiple times by the cops, so, you know, he's uh, got some health issues. Well, if we can do a, a minimal bond, a fifteen or 20000 surety... Um... He Judge, didn't. if I may? Yes. You, you placed him on the court's PR bond back in uh, February of this year, and it was a 25-20 split. Uh, I'm looking, I guess he got picked up on a warrant back in May, and then in January, you imposed that 25-20 split again. So he's paid 25 two times? Well, not the second time, because he's still in jail. Okay. Well, that's what he gets for keep getting arrested, Mr. Wyatt. And then he doesn't comply by the terms and conditions of his PR bond. So I think we can reduce it down to 20 grand. We'll, I'll put another 20 grand. Oh, well, he's, he, he's got two. I don't think he's going to be able to make that, Judge. Can, can we do? Well, one of like, them One of them is 3000 which I think he's already posted. Is that holding him, Sam? I don't see that as holding him. Yeah, what's holding him? I'm seeing the the case ending in two four two, mm -hmm. yep. but it's a forty five thousand split. And then there's a P file smuggling of persons. That's a twenty five thousand cash assurity. That was declined. But he, he still got a hold on it. Yes, sir. Let me get into the case and see what what it says. You that know what, fun. Derek? I, I sent a screenshot to, to Dan uh, indicating the decline. I can send it to you as well if you want. So that smuggling case was declined. That smuggling case should not be holding it. It should just be our 242 case. Last four three digits. Okay. I, I, do have a, I do have a printout here showing it was declined. I wonder why the, the jail hasn't... Uh, picked up on this you know what uh, Derek I think it's because I, I mean I don't want to say who but I, I think there's probably just someone who hasn't submitted the the dismissal of the warrant Sam can you make sure that you can hunt down that dismissal and then show us the decline I could reach out to my supervisors I'm not sure what the the procedure yeah. is on that um but I don't see anything on that p-file case um the last oh, entry was an examining trial back in May of this year. Okay, right. And, but you and then, do show the P file holding him though, right? Yes, Judge. Yes, it is okay, holding him, Judge. You've got to unhold him on that case. And, and it was declined. There's no PC as well, Judge. So there it is. We've got to make sure that case isn't holding him. Then on the case ending in 242, you're telling me it's a 45 surety? 
Sam? I'm sorry, no judge. It's a, it's a split bond. What is it? It is a 20,000 PR, 25,000 cash assurity. Okay. And it's the same bond that he had before. Correct. Can, can we do 10, 10 grand on a judge? Are you okay with 10 grand, Mr. Avila? I... Judge, if I remember correctly, the, the, the 25 was uh, something that we had talked about, I, I think, before. Uh, I can do the 20, maybe even 15. Let's do 15. I'll do 15, Mr. Wire. Let's see if we can do 15. Okay. Yeah, you're okay with 15. Let's switch, let's change his bond. 15 surety, my PR, the same amount, all the okay. same terms, because I imposed that bond, right? So let's see if we can do the 15,000, okay? Okay. Have, have, you, uh, have you looked at this case, Josh? Yes. I, uh, so one of the things that we were waiting for on, uh, on today's hearing, Judge, were uh, several DPS air videos uh, that, were, that were captured in this case. Uh, we have since gotten them, and they're uploaded. Uh, there's about uh, – let me double check. I think there were eight videos, and I haven't yeah. seen them all. No, see, I didn't know the air videos were up. Yeah, and it, yeah. the air from the description, it seems like it should capture the whole incident. That, exactly, and I saw a piece of it, and even though it's a little shaky sometimes, it does capture it. Okay, you've got aerial videos. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. But, you know, after I looked at all the pictures and all that stuff, mm -hmm. I can see how my client says he didn't even know they were cops. I mean, these guys rolled up like gangsters. And I think I one guy had maybe had a patch on his back that said sheriff, because that's my guy's whole thing, as well as the person who was with him. It's like all of a sudden these dudes just rolled up on us, pointing guns at us, and we freaked out. We thought it was a cartel hit. <laughs> I hate when that happens. When you, when you look at the pictures, you can see it. there was no, these guys hadn't, the, the cops didn't identify themselves at all. At least not obviously. I mean, I'm, I know they're going to say we shouted police, police. But, man, when you look at the vehicles, there's nothing to, to indicate those are cop cars. All these guys are dressed in plain clothes, and they just pulled guns and converged on my guy. I, I can see him thinking that it was a hit. There were, and that's what I wanted to see on the video, right? And there, there, there are, in fact, 11 videos. The issue here, right, is that there were some unmarked units and some people in civilian clothes, right? So the issue is, is, are the tactical vest, the sheriff, enough for him to be on notice that these are cops? All right. So I think the videos are going to be I saw the pictures key. of them. One of them had a, a, a sheriff thing, but it was on the back. And I think some of them had tactical vests, right, as well? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Although maybe a cartel person might have tactical vests. You might yeah, see. I mean, of course. <laughs> Okay, can we offer something to settle this case, Mr. Avila? Judge, so I, I haven't finished viewing all of the videos to kind of come okay. to a final to, to come to a final wreck. I know there's a separate case in evading that's that I'm gonna have to include as well. Uh, you want two to three weeks reset? Yes, Judge. This is assuming he bonds down. Will he bond down, Mr. White? Uh, I'm gonna call him right now and see if the family can make the bond. Okay. 20. I can do two to three weeks, Judge. Okay, two to three weeks it is whenever Mr. Jesse can accommodate it. Thank you. You may be excused on that one. Mr. Wyatt, you have Benito Garcia. 2019-3336, announcement of council, please. Uh, Josh Avila and Arifa Bradford, State Judge, State Treaty. And this one, I'm sorry, Judge, this was Benito Garcia? Yes. Uh, yes. Derek White, on behalf of Benito Garcia, respect the red receipt, Judge. Rick, can you follow Joanna and Aben, please? Yes. Okay, Mr. Salazar, thank you. Okay, what's the offer in this case, Mr. Judge, so uh, before there was a wreck of, I think there was two TDC wreck. Uh, I'm wrecking probation eight years with MHI caseload. The Good. biggest issue in this case, and I know Mr. White is going to have fun in this with this, is that there are about $237,000 alleged in damages, Judge. How much? Two hundred thirty-seven thousand. What did what happened? It was a hospital that was flooded, Judge. Oh, I remember this case. And this guy has severe mental issues. You know who represented this gentleman? 
for a bit was Curtis Cox. Curtis, that's before, correct. Yeah. Before he took before he took over the DA's office. Mm -hmm. um, Curtis represented him for a long time. He has severe mental issues. So uh, I'm offering pro I'm, yeah. I'm offering probation judge. I I completely understand if you can make all of it, but I do want to give the hospital as much back as we can. I know he spent a long time in jail. I don't know what he does for a living. So I, I do want to consider all that. Maybe if, if they're amenable to a plea with restitution, then we can work with that. Mr. Garcia well, is on the PR bond. Judge, he's on the list. And I don't think, I don't believe he did the presence. We did no. the presence. You want to waive his presence? But he's on the PR bond list, Judge. Sure. Page six. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sam. Let's see. Mr. Has Wyatt? Been? Yes. Do you think um, Mr. Garcia would be under the name Ben? He's on. Let me, let's try, Rick. Mr. Ben, who are you, sir? I'm Benito Jesus Garcia. There you are, Mr. Benito Jesus Garcia. Can you turn on your video, sir? I want to see your face. Um. It's because I'm not I'm not too familiar with this, but I have my mother here to help me. Uh, guide Good. Me. Let your mama help you. I'm going to ask you to start the video. OK, I'm asking you to start the video. Just press it. What about the notice of expert? Where's Mr. Benito? Motion for point expert. Notice of expert. Okay. All right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll go over these one. Mr. Benito, are you with us? Yeah, I'm right here. Can you hear me? I can hear you. There you are, Mr. Benito. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. You look good, you? sir. You look good, sir. See, that's why I want to see your face to make sure you look okay, sir. Okay, You're taking your, are you taking your meds, sir? Yes, ma'am. Actually, uh, tomorrow my, uh, my caseworker is coming. Good. Uh, they changed caseworkers and they changed, um, they're swapping around because after a year, they they, they change like all types of, they, they move me from Shakumi or something like that. Shakumi. Yes, yes. Okay, sir. Okay, Mr. Um, I did go to EHN one because uh, I went in a crisis. So I'm just going to be honest because you're going to find out anyways. So might as well tell you. But it's because I didn't, get, when that transition happened of changing counselor, I didn't take my medicine and I fell off. And But I, I went in there, uh -huh. stayed there, and I'm compliant and everything. Okay, sir, because Mr. Garcia has been reporting weekly via email to his prior PR bond officer, but since officer left the department, I'm unable to verify if he reported as instructed as of 6-23-21, when a note in his case stated he was admitted to the El Paso Psych on 7-22. Voicemail was left from Mr. Garcia requesting update on his case since he's reaching a two-year mark, but no other information. Information. Our office made attempts to contact Mr. Garcia by phone and email on 9-1-2021 and 9-8-2021, but we were unsuccessful in reaching him. On 9-8, contact was made to Maria Garcia, the client's mother. Yes. And she advised that Mr. Garcia had lost his phone recently. He was unable to be reached. At her, therefore, he was able to be reached at her home number. I tried calling Mr. Garcia and I have yet to hear back from him. Mr. Garcia, you're not reporting to your PR bond officer. Um, the PR, they changed me. I don't have, I, I, they gave me a new, I have a name. Okay. Um, I mean, uh, your new PR bond officer is Christelle Talifa. My, my, um, my, uh, Kayla is coming tomorrow from EHN. Tomorrow. Who? Oh. Kayla, she's the caseworker at EHN. I had to, I actually went went over there because I was trying to contact them several times because when they, when they were trying to change me counselor, I could I couldn't I, they would put me on hold and hang up on me. Put me on hold okay. and hang up. EHN EHN is different from your PR bond, sir. I understand. I understand that, and oh. also right now it's, I'm also trying to my new. Uh, my new one is called uh, Christelle. Christelle, I have, uh, five, four, Christelle 
Talifa, she's your new PR bond. You have to report to her, sir. That's important. Okay? I will. So start reporting to her, Mr. Wyatt, whatever your office needs to do, but you need to make sure he's available to PR bond. Yes, ma'am. Okay, please. And he needs help. He needs help. <laughs> Bless you and being reminded. Okay, Mr. Benito Garcia, I understand you have lots of people you have to report to and lots of things you have to do, sir. So I'm trying to be understanding with you, okay? Yes, so just make sure that you keep keep in touch with Christelle, Talifa. This is, it's going to be a new new people that I've never met. She is new. She is new. Yes. Right. Yeah, she's new, but she's very good. Okay. So please keep in touch with her. Then you're going to keep in touch with EHN. Okay. And then you have to keep in touch with Mr. Wyatt's office. You have a lot, so hopefully your mother will help you and you'll remember sometimes, okay? Yes, okay. I will. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm okay. Off track a little bit. I'm sorry with my fault, but I, I'm back. That's okay. okay, sir. You're back on track. I'm trying to be understanding with you because you have, you know, you have lots on your plate, okay? Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Mr. Avila, can we offer something? Yes, Judge, I offer probation with restitution. I, uh, I, I'm looking over the notes. I, I think Mr. Martinez, Ivan Martinez and David Nunez worked on it. There was some mention about insurance, but there wasn't any mention of the coverage going through or if there was a deductible. I I'll guarantee try. you the hospital had insurance. Well, exactly. yeah. And it wasn't and it wasn't a two hundred and some thousand dollar deductible that they're out of pocket expenses either. Right, Judge. And, and uh, but there might have been a deductible with that high of a cost. Uh, that's a quarter of a million dollars. So um, no, deductible is a deductible. Right, right, right. But I don't know. Life. I don't know. I, I don't know if, if intentional acts are covered and all those things. Right. This was well. It wasn't an it wasn't an intentional act by the insured. It wasn't like the doctor did oh, or the hospital right, right, right. administrator. Right. No. To third party. Insurance covered. Insurance covered this. Right. So two hundred and some thousand dollars is outrageous. It is not the deductible amount. No, and, no, it's not, Judge. Right. They could. Uh, they could never carry a note on the hospital without uh, without insurance. Right. right. So you want to clarify the restitution with the hospital, Mr. Avila? So we'll do, Judge. And um, I mean, let's say the deductible is 5000 I don't know. Is that still something he can't afford? I'm gonna just well, disability, here's the thing about it. Here's the thing right. about it. I talked to Dr. Dunham. Right. Dr. Dunham says he's competent. Right. Dr. Dunham also said you might want to get him evaluated for the uh, insanity defense, because after I talked to him about the incident, I, mm -hmm. uh, I think that there's a, a pretty good chance that he might be insane. Mm -hmm. At the time of the offense? At the time of the offense, yeah. Okay. So I guess I'm going to have to get a hold of, I've, actually, I've got to get a hold of Jesse about two of these. I filed, but I haven't followed up to get, a, uh, to get an appointment done. Are two of the ones we've had so, Mr. Wyatt, are you going to file an insanity defense in this case then? Yeah, I should have already filed the intent for the insanity defense, but I don't think I filed the motion for expert. And uh, I have the and I have the notice, Judge, of, uh, of intent to bring up the insanity defense. He recently came back from competency. I don't know. Would that help, Mr. Wyatt? There, there's a well, competency that's what, examination. That's what Dunham told me to get, have him evaluated for insanity. So I was oh, going right, to have right. Dr. Schutte evaluate him. That he's okay. competent, that he's competent, but he could have been insane at the time of the incident. Right. That's what Dunham is saying. Why can't Dunham do an insanity defense? Why do you have to go to Schutte? Um, I don't think I don't think Dunham uh, does insanity. Oh, he doesn't? I don't know. I don't know. Then he shouldn't be opining as to whether he's insane or not. If he doesn't do it, what does he know, Mr. White? For a phone, for help. I'm not insane. We go ask him for help at a hospital, and they did, and they give me they didn't render. It's it's all right, Ben. It's 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 cool. Let me let me uh, let me take care of it. These are a lot of procedural stuff. 
I'm, I'm, uh, I'm here for you, bro. So don't don't worry about what's being said. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Benito, Mr. 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 Benito, Mr. Wyatt is utilizing every avenue he can to help you and to get you off. Okay, so relax. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank yes. You. Yeah. No worries. No, don't yeah, worry. It's okay. Don't worry about that. So long as you and I are good, I'm I'm okay. Okay. Yes. Mr. Benito, okay, so don't worry about what these attorneys are saying. Sometimes it's just hogwash. I don't even understand what they're saying sometimes. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I already have PTSD. But ma'am, the only reason that I this is what was happening then was because I lost I lost don't, my medication. Yeah, from, don't say anything. Don't don't it's best not to say anything. Don't yeah. say anything about it. You're good. You're good with me, and that's all you have to worry about. We're good. Thank okay. you. Okay, so then um, do what you need to do. If you need to file that motion, uh, if it's shooty, okay. If it's Dunham, okay, whatever. But if that's what you have to, you have to pursue, Mr. Wyatt. Let's just do it quickly. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Anything else we need to discuss? So I guess we're going to set this up in another thirty days. Let's see if it's if shooty does it or Dunham or whatever the heck. Okay. But, but it, for not, let me ask another dumb question, Mr. Carrion. Can you find out, Mr. Carrion, are you with me? I am, Judge. Okay, because if it's just an insanity defense, do we transfer it to Judge Garcia's competency court? Uh, no, I don't believe we shouldn't. So, we shouldn't, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, we don't do that. Okay, I just wanted to make sure we know, we're not going to do it. You just you just designate if it's shooty or I would prefer if he's already seen Dunham, if Dunham can do it, he would do minimal work. Shooty would have to start from scratch. Right. So if we can do Dunham, Mr. Wyatt, let's let's get Dunham to do it. He's the one that started this ball rolling. OK, okay. So 30 days, 30 days reset. Mr. Benito, don't forget Christelle. Christelle with your PR bond people, you have to meet with her. And talk to her all the time. Okay? All right. Okay, sir. Thank you. You look great, Mr. Benito. Okay, thank you, ma'am. You, you look sure. great. Take care. Take your medicine. Do what emergence tells you to do, and life is good. Okay. <laughs> Bye, right. Mr. Benito. Bye-bye. Okay. Judge? Yes, sir. I did reach out to the, the, the grand jury clerk for some clarification regarding declines. She said it's the, the DA's. The DA's uh, thing to do, responsibility. Yeah, so we submit the, the dismissal of the warrant, right? Uh, I'll and send this is email. regarding uh, Alejandro Fernandez. Yes, the singer. So what do you have to do? Submit a declination of the bench warrant or what? I have to submit, well, I have to, they have to send a dismissal of the warrant that was issued from the case, from the police report. Um, indicating that they're, we're not prosecuting the case anymore. Okay. Bye, Mr. Ben. I'm going to remove you, okay? Because you may not know how to do it. Okay, there you go. Bye, Mr. Ben. Okay. Okay, so you have to do it, Mr. Sam. So go ahead and do it, I guess. You know, uh, you know he's got a pretty good insanity defense, Judge, because the first thing he said was, I'm not insane. I'm not insane. And that's exactly what an insane person would say. Well, I know, no, no. We just have to prove that he did not know right from wrong at the time of the incident. So right. when he pressed that lever or pressed that thing, what was he thinking or what did he say? Oh, he, he thought people were out to get him and the people have been following him since California and all, all kind he, of stuff. He thought the security people were police officers that were trying to hurt him. So he barricaded himself in a, ba in a, in a bathroom and the, the sprinkler system was going off, so yeah. Yeah, he, people he, had been following him for days and mm -hmm. all kind of stuff. Well, I think it probably is a good defense and, and a good insanity defense. Yeah. The problem is he's going to be, with an insanity defense, he's going to be locked up somewhere. But the civil commitment thing? It's a civil yes. commitment, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and I don't know if we want to do that. Look at, he's kind of functioning. I don't know, Mr. Wyatt. Uh, 
It's up to you. It's it's your choice. It's you, you know. Well, who's to say that civil commitment is not a good thing here? Right? We, you, we have missed well, Let me tell you Torres why it's not. A civil commitment. It's not a good thing because he's functioning out there right now. He's paying attention to EHN. EHN has it under control right now. Oh, okay. There's no incidences. He's going to be put in a lot. He's going to be locked at Vernon's. I think that's where they send him to Vernon's for, for insanity. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a good thing for Mr. Benito, Mr. Wyatt. But what are they gonna... for? Uh, it's for a year, right? Well, it can be renewed. With they have an option renewed. of renewing every, every year. year. It can be renewed mm -hmm. and renewed. And we had Mauro Nades. Remember that? That's been our only insanity guy. And we had him for about two years. So he was locked up for about two years. So I don't know if it's a good thing. Mr. Yeah, Wyatt, we'll, uh, we'll explore all that, Judge. Yeah. Talk to your clients, then kind of absolve yourself on the record and cover your butt on the record if, you know. Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. You know what to do. The next one, Mr. Wyatt, is which one? You have another one? Uh, Jason Rodriguez. What page is Jason? Page Rodriguez? 10. Nine, 10. At this time, court calls cause number 2021-1445. Jason Rodriguez, announce on the council, please. Josh Avila, ready for breakfast. Stay judge, stay ready. And Eric White, on behalf of Mr. Rodriguez, respectfully ready to proceed, judge. And Mr. Rodriguez is not present. Yes, he is, judge. Mr. Rodriguez, where are you? Talk to He's me. He's on mute. Mr. Rodriguez, say good afternoon, judge. How are you, Rodriguez? He's on mute, Judge. You're waving, sir. I'm asking you to unmute. Can you unmute? There you go. Yes, Your Honor. Hi, Mr. Rodriguez. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing well. It's better as well as I can be. I know. Under the circumstances. Good for you. You look good, sir. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate Thank that. Thank you for being here. Mr. Rodriguez, do you recognize your attorney, Mr. Wyatt? Yes, Your Honor, I do. And Mr. Wyatt, do you recognize your client as a defendant in this case? Yes, ma'am. Let the record reflect that both have identified each other. What is going on in this case, Mr. Avila? Judge, on this one, I must apologize. I just barely got the pretrial with the complaining witness. Uh, this was something that we discussed about a month ago. Yeah. And um, obviously, it's something that I need to seriously consider probation or lesser included uh, for Mr. Wyatt. And I just got the pretrial for next week, Judge. Okay. So I apologize for that. Okay, so we'll set this up in uh, two weeks. Yes, Mr. Judge. Wyatt, please. yes, in two weeks we'll set it up. Yes, ma'am. Very good. Okay. You all may be excused. Mr. Rodriguez, thank you for being here. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Mr. Wyatt, that does it for you, right? That does it for me, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. You may be excused. Thank you, guys. You have a great day. Derek, do you need me? Oh, okay. No, I need to send the dismissal. I thought you wanted me to send you a screenshot of the decline, but no. You already have that. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to, so you're going to send that? Where do, you, where do you need to send it? The jail? Well, I, I need to send it. Yeah, I need to send it to the unit that was in charge of it, which was the BPU, and they need to send the dismissal to the jail, to the actual jail. Ah. Mm -hmm. that, that sounds like a lot of moving parts. But he has to do it. That's the only way it gets done. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to contact my client to see if he can bail out for the 1500 So whenever you get to that, we'd really appreciate it, Josh. Copy. Copy. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank Wyatt. You guys. Taylor Barlow, that's public defender. Are you here? Public defender on Taylor Barlow? I'm here, Judge. Great. At this time, court calls cause number 2018-2189. Taylor Barlow, announcement of the council, please. Uh, Josh Avila, ready for breakfast. Stay judge, stay ready. Felix Casanyan for Miss Barlow, ready, Your Honor. And is Miss Barlow? She's in jail. In you jail. Want to wait? You want to yes, wait? Your Honor. So wait. Yes. The offering with Miss Barlow, Mr. Judge. Barlow. So this case, I thought I had sent uh, the public defenders. Right. It was either Amanda or Felix uh, an email on this. I'm dismissing both of her cases. Wow! Very good. Uh, it's a stage of possession and a PG3 possession, 2018. Uh, I th mm -hmm. thought I had submitted the dismissal, but yeah. Wait, hang on. There's another dis There's another case on her? There's a misdemeanor. And oh. there, she also picked up a failure to ID 
But I remember seeing that that case got declined, actually. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't think it got accepted. But... Okay. Actually, so oh, it did get accepted. Hmm. Um, I'll dismiss that case as well, I guess. Okay. Or decline. Or, or decline. Dismiss, I guess. Right, right, right. Okay. So those, the failure to ID, Rick put this down, the failure to ID it's going to be dismissed as well. You said it got accepted, so it's going to be dismissed, not declined. So it's going to be dismissed, and you're going to dismiss the case that I called that's on my docket, right? Let's set this up for three weeks for a dismissal. Hearing, make sure it's all those cases got dismissed, okay? Is three weeks okay, Mr. Avila? Yes, sir. Thank you. You may be excused, Mr. Castañon, your next one. Uh, Judge, I have uh, Caleb Hicks. At this time, court calls cause number 2020-5051. Announcement of counsel, please. Uh, Josh Avila, Nadifa Brown for the state judge. State ready. Felix Gustin for Mr. Hicks. Ready, Your Honor, and I, I would ask if I could waive Mr. Hicks in his presence. Yes, he's not on the PR bond. No, Your Honor. Okay, what's the offer, Mr. Avila? Mm. Mr. Hicks. <laughs> I think their last offer was deferred, Your Honor, and Mr. Hicks is in the military. And I, I asked him to check because uh, I wasn't able to verify whether or not this would be a career ender for him. I, I think that it would be, uh, but just, you know, I wanted him to make sure before he wow. made a decision whether or not to take it. Okay. So you want a little bit more time to figure that out, Mr. Castaño? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. A couple weeks? Yes, Your Honor. Please. Great. Two week reset, two to three week reset, whenever we can fit it in. Thank you, Mr. Castañon. Do you have Candido Infante? Mr. Uh, no, you are. That's it for me, I believe. Thank you, sir. You may be excused. Have a great Thank you, day. Thank you. Thank you. Now we ended with the next one is Andrew Busiaga. That's Mr. Huffman. Andrew Busiaga, Mr. Huffman, are you with us? Yes, Judge. Good. At this time, we'll close cause number 2021-783 and 1148, Andrew Busiaga. Announcement of counsel, please. Josh Avila, Nadifa Brown for the state judge. Stage ready. Rick Huffman on behalf of Mr. Bursiaga. We are ready. And Mr. Bursiaga is in jail. You want to waive his presence? Yes, Your Honor. So waived. What's the offer, Mr. Avila? Uh, judge, the offer is five TDC, Judge. Hush. Okay, 5 TDC, Mr. Huffman. Uh, so, yeah, we were, you know, I mean, I, I thought we were kind of angling towards probation here. Uh, well, you may have been angling towards probation. <laughs> That's just it. So, I, well, yeah. so, 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 Mr. Huffman, so Mr. Huffman, Judge, had emailed me, and he actually mm -hmm. had called me. Uh -huh. And I gave it a shot, Judge. I looked at his previous history and I tried to consider probation and okay. I disagreed with it. Mr. Huffman actually spoke with Mr. Abrar as well and he disagreed as well. So, um, Mr. Huffman has done a great job fighting for his client to get in probation and it's not going to work, Mr. Huffman. Understood. I, I get it. Um, yeah, I, at five just, you know, it seems like a lot for a guy that had a yeah. addiction and um he doesn't have any violent history what about would you need an offer what about if his if his problem's addiction mr arif and mr josh would you possibly consider probation with safety as a condition i don't mm -hmm. know if you you'd accept that mr hoffman but judge we already considered that the, the issue okay. judge is that he's had a history of drug type oh. offenses, and and Mr. Abrar said it as uh, said it very well. He's he's graduated to about seventy grams of meth. Yeah, and that's not personal use, Judge. I mean, seventy right. grams, point one gram of meth keeps people high for an hour or two hours. So, okay. yeah, Judge, yeah. and it, it's a lot. It's, a it's definitely a lot, but I think there's a little more to the story. It was to be split three ways. It was about a, his part was about one hundred and fifty dollars worth of meth. They it, it it happened right when everybody got their stimulus check, so they they got a lot. And uh, uh, but it's definitely a lot of meth. I mean, but uh, but I I I 
I think it may have been personal use, but I, I, I don't think we'll ever kind of agree on that. Um, yeah, it sounds like a little bit too much for personal use, but okay. Five TDC, I think what you need to do is have a come to Jesus meeting with your client yeah, and tell them what's the least amount of prison time you'll take and then make a counter to the DAs and see if they'll take that. I, yeah, I've talked to him, Judge, um, and and we were hoping for like two and or maybe three, um, you know, if. Uh, nah. Mr. Arif, Mr. Like Josh, would you do two or three? At the minimum, Judge. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Three I, then. Um, isn't he enhanced to 15? He's, he's, he has a prior pen trip. So that's that, that first degree has a minimum of 15. Right. If, if they prove the, the right. manufacturer delivery. Yeah, no. And, and that's, we're stuck here judge with some harsh uh, statutory minimums. Yeah. And, and even if we don't prove up the manufacturer delivery, he's still going to be uh, on the first degree range. Right. With the exactly. previous. So. I, I, yeah. So it's a five, you know, we're looking at a five minimum, which. So we are no, actually I, offering I, the minimum that he can get. Right. No, I know. I know. I just, uh, man, it's, it's, a, it's a harsh it's minimum. It's, 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 it's the same degree basically as murder, you know, and it, it's just hard for me to kind of. To wrap understand. it around it. But uh, but yeah, we are stuck with that. Those, Does those he, doesn't he not have a lot of credit? Um, nah, he's got a few months. Yeah, 160 some days, maybe 170 days, a little bit. He more. has um, actually okay. He has 180. 180. Yeah. Yeah. Six so he's got six okay. more. He's well, he's got about eight more months before he becomes pro eligible. So it sounds, mm. Mr. Hoffman. I, I sympathize for both, Mr. Hoffman. It sounds like you're in a you're between a rock and a hard place, and it sounds like Mr. Arif and Mr. Josh have done their best to try to give you the best deal they can in this case. So do yeah, we it, do we put it on the trial track or? Well. I guess my only net, the the only I don't want to set it for trial, Judge. At this point, I you know if I've got uh, maybe I could convince Mr. Cox or whoever else I need to talk to. But you know it's a young guy, three kids, no okay. violent history. You know I I, I don't know. I, Can you go to Mr. Cox, Mr. Arif, and Mr. Josh? If he wants to, Judge. I mean, sure. Okay. Okay, try it, I guess. Worth a shot. Uh, Mr. Hoffman, I think you got to turn over every rock. And that way you can say you went to, you know, the top level. And they said no, so it's 5 TDC. Or maybe you'll get a better deal with Mr. Cox. You don't know. Think about three. Uh, three, I'll set it for next week and we'll get it done. I mean, we're ready. Okay. You know? Well, maybe Mr. Cox will agree to three. Let's set this up for another three weeks. Three weeks. I'll give you about three weeks, Mr. Hoffman, to get with Mr. Cox on this one. Yes, Judge. Thank you. Okay. Three weeks it is. Thank you. You may be excused. Have a Thank great you. day. You too, Judge. Thank you. Mr. Omar Carmona is next. Are you with us, Mr. Carmona? I am, Your Honor. Good. On Victor Calderon, 202975, announcement of counsel, please. Josh Avila for the State Judge. State ready. Omar Carmona on behalf of Victor Calderon, Your Honor. Ready. Uh, Mr. Calderon, it can be on standby, Judge. Unless there's any issues with his bond, um, you okay? I he, think. On, we're... I'm sorry, Judge. He's on the list. Uh, let me let me let me make sure. What page, Mister? AC. Calderon. I'm looking. Page one, the bottom half. Hmm. He called the PR bond office on 823-21 and left a voicemail. Telephone calls were made on 823-825-826-98 to try to reach out to him and complete orientation. He's not even completed orientation. But all were unsuccessful. On 825, I also called his brother and asked for his brother. Mr. Calderon does not have a contact number to be reached at on 98. 
I called his attorney to request contact information, but I was not able to get a hold of him. On 9-8, we spoke to a friend, Sylvia, he, and, and states that he has no phone, but he has been reporting to his bail bond triple A. She states she will relay the message and let him know to contact PR bond. Client was previously revoked in May 2021 for failing to submit to a UA. Yep, it looks like I'm going to revoke him, Mister. He's going to he's going to get on. Okay, we'll get back with him. Tell him he needs to get on. We'll get on it with him as soon as I finish with Mister Spencer. You're next, Mister Spencer Santiago Chavez. You're with me. Yes. Good afternoon, Your Honor, Joe good Spencer and Chris. Sir, good afternoon. And Chris Benoit. 2016 Santiago Chavez announcement of counsel, please. Counsel, have you learned for Bradford City Judge? Stay ready. Uh, Chris Benoit and Joe Spencer on behalf of Mr. Chavez, Your Honor. Okay, and Mr. Chavez is not present, right? Y yes, you waived his presence, Your Honor, and previously that, so we appreciate that. Thank you. Brilliant. Absolutely. Okay, this is set for trial. It, it was already set for trial a long time ago. When are we set for on this case, counsel? November yeah, the 15th, is... Judge. Okay. And it was just recently set on November the 15th, oh, Judge. That's right. We have... We have a uh, judges conference set on the, the other thing, judges, I, I have a conflict, but what I wanted to talk to you about to give you a little bit of information is I have actually had yeah. ongoing conversations with uh, Curtis Cox about this case. I am set to meet with him next week. I am putting together a uh, large packet of uh, exculpatory and Brady material that he has agreed to review. I am very optimistic that by the judges conference that we have scheduled for November 4th, We'll have a resolution on this case, or if we don't reach a resolution on the case, Judge, then I'm going to ask for a special setting. You might recall this is a case where you suppressed all the outcry statements. We have an expert that from out of town that has to schedule, uh, you know, her time to come in. The issue, Judge, is because we are retained, and this expert is out of pocket to Mr. Chavez. If we, if, when she blocks off a time for a trial date, if that trial date gets moved we still get charged for the time she blocks off uh, because she then has already canceled any other previous commitment. So we would be asking if, and I really do think we're going to get the case resolved judge. Uh, but if, if we don't, I'm going to ask for a special setting sometime in early next year judge so that I have enough time with the expert we're locked in and it's not an needless cost. This is a cost that is, this is a case that Mr. Chavez has spent an exceedingly large amount of money on, on expert, and that's what is allowing us to present some of this evidence to Mr. Uh, Cox. Was this the expert from Beverly Hills? No. Uh, Arizona, Your Honor. No, 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 Your Honor. The, the, the desert, not, not, not sunny California. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, well, you gave me heads up that it doesn't look like if you have a conflict in November... You gave me heads up on that. Let's try to work out a deal. Let's hope. You're right, Mr. Spencer. Let's try to work out a deal. Otherwise, what what was the offer? What was the last offer the state gave you, Mr. Uh, Spencer? Judge, uh, Ms. Nava, I think, had a, uh, a 60 years or 50 years or something. It's a 25-count indictment that is that I, um, I think the district attorney's office is going to have to reindict if they really decide they're going to go forward with it the way it was indicted. There's just a lot of issues with the case, Judge, and I'm going to mm -hmm. fill in. Uh, I, in all fairness to Mr. Avila, I have not spoken to him because I knew this was a case that I was going to have to go up the chain if we're going to get it resolved, and I just wanted to cut to the chase and not and not mm -hmm. have to, uh, you know, kind of waste any more of the court's time than we have to. Okay. So, Mr. Avila, we need to start getting our feet a little bit wet about this case if we're going to go to trial, if Mr. Spencer cannot settle it with the higher-ups. But why don't we go ahead and can we set the keep it on the judges conference day? Or you want to set yeah. it up for a week or two before then, or just keep uh, it? I think, yeah, I think judge, if we we'll certainly know. I think before then, and we would let the court know. But I think as as a safeguard, if we just keep the judges conference, I can. By then, we'll okay. certainly, because I think in all okay. fairness to the district attorney's office, they're going to have to review the material I'm going to give them next week uh, and give them a little time to verify uh, everything I've told them. Very good. Okay. Very good. So we'll keep that November judges conference. Very good. Anything Thank else, you. Mr. Spencer, Mr. Benoit? No, you're Nothing further. You. Mr. Yeah, Avila? may we be excused? 
Absolutely. In such, I got the, I got the, I actually got the the case file on this. I've been reviewing it actually since the beginning of the year. Hmm. Uh, it kind of fell into backlog because we didn't have any settings right now. So um, ever since, I believe it was about a month ago, I began re-reviewing it. I was having a really hard time trying to digest the court file. Is there an order granting a suppression of outcry statements? Because I noticed that there were many interim motions for an outcry witness. So I don't know if there were any subsequent witnesses. Uh, so I'm trying to trying to wrap my head around the court file. Yeah, we okay, we Mr. had a we had a hearing. If you recall, Your Honor, we uh, and and Mr. Avila, you weren't present, mm -hmm. but we had a hearing, and there were all the outcry witnesses testified, and the judge ruled from the bench that uh, the, 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 all those witness were, all those statements were going to be suppressed. Okay. So there's a, there is a record of that. There, but maybe but a record. An order? Of, is there an order, Mr. Spencer? Uh, uh, honestly, Your Honor, I, I can't tell you. I don't want to say yes or no because no. I don't I don't I don't have that at my fingertips. Okay, let's let's make sure that we have orders reflecting what we've done, so that way yes, Mr. Avila will have a better idea of what's going on. Judge, I was I was about to print all orders, and I was like, "This is a lot." <laughs> yeah, it was too many. Right. Yeah. Right. And and Mr. Avila, if you'd like to call me at your convenience, I could kind of fill you in, or if you want to be present with Mr. Cox's meeting with me next week, that would be great. Also, kind of put you up to speed. Absolutely, Mr. Spencer. Yes. The other thing, the only thing I remember about this case, Mr. Spencer, because I don't remember, I didn't remember me, su me uh, suppressing all the outcry witnesses. I don't remember that, but you're telling me I did. Okay. What I do remember is the day of trial or a day before trial at the judges conference, there were literally, I think, a million pictures that were dumped. Correct. On lap on this case. Oh, right? this a was the case. A million pictures. Okay. I remember now. Okay. Right. And then and then I believe it took the sheriff's department what they had rec what they had represented, how long it would take to do the dump and get me the took, you know, maybe eight or nine months as opposed to the two weeks they had promised. Right. right. And we still may need uh, more original source uh, hard drives for that as well. Uh, that's what our experts telling us. So. OK, OK. That's I'm sorry, what was that? That, that that there needed to be more extra space created for those? No, we may need the originals. Oh, the originals. I don't think we were provided the original hard drives. Okay. Okay, so that's this case, Mr. Mr. Avila. It was very problematic from the get-go. Okay? Right, Judge. So I know it's not going to be problematic with you guys. That I do know. Well, I'm, I'm going to be playing catch-up, Judge. I will say that. I know. Yeah. I know. But just remember, there's a million pictures. 859,000 pictures. I saw it on the case file, and, and yeah, we need to wrap our head around that too. Okay, very good. I'm just warning you. Okay, you guys, thank you. Thank you. We'll see thank you, you, Your Honor. Time. Everybody, you may be excused. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Judge. Be safe, Judge. Bye bye. You too. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Spencer. The OnePlus Nord N100, is that your client, Mr. Omar Carmona? It could be, Judge. Let's see. My client isn't exactly technologically savvy. Okay, Mr. He's connecting right now. It's Mr. Calderon. Are you with us, Mr. Calderon? He's still connecting. He's still connecting. I don't know if he can connect. Okay, we're going to go to Raul Escarcega, Jesus Olivas, while we're waiting, 2020, 1631, and 1597, and ask on the council, please. Uh, Josh Avila for the state judge, stage ready. So, yes, on behalf of Mr. Escarcega, we are ready as well, Judge. And Mr. Escarcega is present. Where are you, Mr. Escarcega? He's in there somewhere. There he is. Mr. Escarcega, do you recognize your attorney, Mr. Olivas? He's waving to you, Mr. Scarcega. He's on mute. Mr. Scarcega, I can't follow. Oh, there you are. Mr. Scarcega, I'm asking you to unmute. Can you unmute? Sorry. Do yes, you recognize yes, attorney, Mr. Scarcega? Yes. And Mr. Olivas, do you recognize your client as the defendant in this case? I do, Your Honor. Let the record reflect that both have identified each other. What's the offer in this case, Mr. Avila? 
Good. So I think we got to reset on this case to see if I can get in contact with the complaining witness. And I did make my attempts. Uh, I'm offering plea on the misdemeanors and I'll dismiss both felonies. Wow, Mr. Olivas, how can you refuse that? That sounds great. <laughs> okay, Mr. And, and, and he hang has on. more than enough. Hang on, judge, Mr. So. Hang on, Mr. Carmona, your client is not a connected audio. You need to tell him, text him, tell him to hang up and get back on again, please, Mr. Carmona. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So That's that's a plea to the misdemeanors and dismiss the felonies. Right. There's only two misdemeanors. He has way more than enough credit. So I'll dismiss both uh, burglaries. Uh, they were family members, I believe. So, yeah. Okay. Let me talk to Mr. Scott's guy and get back to you and let you know what he says. Okay. Okay. Let's set this up in about two to three weeks. That'll be fine. Mr. Scott's okay. I'll give you a call and you get a chance. Okay. okay. Thank you, Mr. Olivas. Thank you. you. Thank you. I also have... Uh, Mr. Jose Medina. Jose Medina, court calls cause number 2020-5570 and 5735. Jose Medina, announcement of counsel, please. Yes, one more, Judge. Oh, that's right. 2020-5818. Thank you. The line confused me. Announcement of counsel, please. Josh Avila for the state, Judge. State ready. Jesus Elias and Mr. Medina, on all cases, we are ready as well, Judge. And Mr. Bye. Medina, Mr. Medina, you just came in and I just let you in. Are you there, Mr. Medina? Yes, ma'am. Hi, Mr. Medina. How are you today? Good. And you? I'm good, sir. Thank you. Do you recognize your attorney, Mr. Olivas? Mr. Yes, Medina and Mr. Olivas, do you recognize your client as a defendant in this case? I do, Your Honor. Let the record reflect that both have identified each other. Let's talk settlement, Mr. Avila. What's going so on? these are the infamous Alameda people. Um, ah, what Alameda people? The car lots. The car lots. So I've, I've yeah. recently re-reviewed the cases, Judge. Uh, I've actually spoken to two of the complaining witnesses, Judge. I'm making two separate offers. Uh, okay. I think I already dismissed one, but anyway. Uh, let me see. So I am offering a 1244B credit for time served on all the state jails and some of the misdemeanors. Or I can do deferred on the state jails or the felony uh, and some straight probation on the, on the misdemeanors as well. Josh, do me a favor. Uh, once you decide which way you want to go, can you put it on portal so I can... Break it down and talk to him. Yeah, you, you decide which way you want to go. No, it doesn't no, matter. Judge. I'll uh, I'll write what cases I'm asking for him to plea. Okay. There is only one case that might have a, a, a possible restitution, but in my head, what I'm thinking, Mr. Olivas, is he did a long time in jail. He did. Uh, so I'm not probably not going to ask for restitution, but let me okay. let me think about that. But I am offering us a 1244Bs on the state jails. Um, I guess okay. it's the give or take, right? If he doesn't want a conviction, he'll plea on deferred on the felony. Right. If he's okay with a conviction, there'll be misdemeanors, so on and so forth. Yeah, I mean, that sounds awfully enticing. Like I said, just put it on portal exactly what is it yes. that you're talking about so I can bring him in and talk to him and we can take it from there. Okay, I'll give you three weeks, you guys, about three weeks to try to settle this case, please. Yes, thank you. Yes, okay, Mr. Olivas, any more? Uh, yes, ma'am. One more, Mr. Nicholas Joseph Milligan. Mr. Milligan on page, the next page, 2021 2068. Oh, yeah. Nicholas Milligan, announcement of counsel, please. Thank you, Mr. Medina. You may be excused, sir. Thank God you. Bless you ma God bless you, sir. Keep in touch with your attorney. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Bye. Okay. All right. Thanks. We're with Mr. Milligan, announcement of counsel. Josh Avila for the state judge, state ready. Yes, so, so left, on behalf of Mr. Milligan, I would request that you waive this person, judge. He is incarcerated. So waived. What's the offer? Oh, okay. I remember this case, judge. So, so this case got indicted without a presentation, which weirdly means, judge, that we don't have a police report. So neither Mr. Olivas nor I have access to the police report nor the labs. So I requested the, the police report 
uh, yeah, two days ago, actually, and DPS is going to have to come in and submit the, the report. Um, I'm okay, Judge, considering he's in jail. I'm okay with possible weekly uh, checkups on that report. It just hasn't been presented to our office, Judge. That's fine, Judge. Unfortunately, he's got uh, some other stuff out of New Mexico, so he can't bail out. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Okay, good. Then. Okay, we'll do that. So why don't we do this in two weeks? Let's set this up for a settlement conference in two weeks and see what you got then, Mr. Avila. Yes, Judge, we'll do. I, I actually coordinated with our secretary here, and we are kind of asking TPS to come in here and to give us everything that they have. Good. That'll work. Okay. Not. I'm gonna subpoena them. Oh, it's DPS, right? <laughs> Thank you. Bye, Mr. Oliver. Thank you, guys. Have a good afternoon, everybody. Take care. Absolutely. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Do we have Mr. Omar, Mr. Carmona, your client? Is he connected yet? Mr. Calderon, can you hear us? Where is he? The one plus. No, he's not. He didn't connect with audio again. You need to instruct him. We we tried your we we did. Can he can he call in using the phone number? Yes. Does he want to call your office, please? Uh, let me let me handle that. I I can get him on. I'm removing him again. Okay. The next one is. Is Joanna, Joanna Hernandez. Hernandez. Joanna Hernandez, that's Mr. Darnell. At this time, court calls 2019-4010 and ask for the council, please. Josh Avila for the state judge, state ready. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Jeep Darnell, uh, on behalf of Jim Darnell for Joanna Hernandez. Good. Good afternoon, Mr. Darnell. Ms. Hernandez, good afternoon. Do you recognize good afternoon, Your Honor. Ms. Hernandez, do you recognize your attorney, Mr. Darnell? Yes, I do recognize him. And Mr. Darnell, do you recognize your client as a defendant in this case? I do, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Let the record reflect that both have identified each other. This is in re to review CPS records. Is that what this is about, Mr. Darnell? That's what my docket says. Right, yes. Yeah. We're going to review the CPS records and then my understanding, which weren't much, but um, Mr. Avila was going to look at potentially a um a reduction to a dwi misdemeanor dwi in this matter so um I, we do have the cps records judge but we still need to coordinate the 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 protective order judge as well i i think this is the second hearing actually this is the first hearing that we're, we're, we're trying to get the cps records uh but i already got a feeling what's going to be there i think cps investigation is still active uh, I'm offering the 1244B, if that makes any difference. Uh, if we reduce it to a misdemeanor, her blow was above a 0.15, so it will still be a, a, a Class A misdemeanor. So I am offering the 1244B. Okay. Um, and Judge, because the CPS records exist, I'm not sure that ethically we can say yes or no to anything right now. We have to review discovery that exists. Yes. But if they'll get us a protective order, mm -hmm. we will get those and um, speak with Miss uh, Hernandez about the 1244B. Although it's, it would, I'm not sure it would be a 1244B. I think it would be a lesser included, wouldn't it? Uh, I, I'd do 1244Bs on these cases uh, so we can make them class A misdemeanors. Right. Isn't a DWI with the child passenger a third degree? No, it's a state jail. Is it a state jail? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a state jail, so I can reduce it, or twelve forty four A or B. Okay. Okay, talk. You, you'll do that. You'll review the records, Mr. Darnell. Can I set this up like in thirty days? You think? I'm sorry. Say that again, Your Honor. Thirty days. Can I reset this up for another settlement conference in thirty days, Mr. Darnell? Your, Your Honor, you might do forty five, just because we don't have the CPS records yet. So yes. it's going to take a week or two to get that order signed and everything else. And then, then the 30 days actually starts running at that point. Okay. We'll do 45 days, Mr. Darnell. Thank you. Will you send us the proposed order, Josh? Yes, we'll do. I got it. Uh, actually, I haven't gotten it. I need, I need to request it again from my secretary. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Ms. Hernandez. Thank you. You may be excused. Thank you, Judge. 
Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Mr. Carmona, are you with us? Is your client with us yet? We did. We didn't. We did instruct him, Judge, to go on ahead and I don't know if there's a phone number getting on. There's a 506 number. I just allowed in 506. 506, you want to unmute? 506. Yes, ma'am. What is your name, sir? Victor Calderon. Okay, very good, sir. Okay. Can you you can't turn on your video, can you? Okay. okay. Um, Court calls cause number 202975, Victor Calderon and ask on the council, please. Josh Avila for the state judge, stage ready. Omar Carmona for Mr. Calderon. Ready, Your Honor. Do you recognize Mr. Cal Calderon's voice, Mr. Yes, you yes, Your Honor. And when the video when his video was on, I did see him and that was him. Good. Okay. And Mr. Calderon, do you recognize your client, uh, your your attorney? Because you saw him on screen yes. for a little bit, right? Yes, ma'am, I do. Okay. Let the record reflect that both have identified each other. Mr. Calderon, according to yes, your bond, people. Yes. I'm looking. According to your PR bond, people, they've you haven't even done orientation with your PR bond. They've tried to okay. call you on 823, okay. 825, 826, 98. On 928, you know 825, your brother was called. On yes, 98, your attorney was called. They spoke to a friend on 98 named Sylvia. Do you have a friend named Sylvia? Yes, ma'am. And I'm here with her now. And she was, no, I mean, she, she, um, she just let me know that he had called. So I don't know if they were trying another number that I had given them, but that number was not, is not operative yet. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with, with money right now, but it's, it's one of those, one of those, you know, just I'm behind on a lot of work and it's just, you know, it's mowing. I have to do with a tractor and, and it's just, uh, so anyhow, um, if I mean, I, I apologize, I can call him today um you know right away i'm i'm probably i'm going to do that next so it doesn't take uh money to borrow. To it doesn't take money to borrow somebody's phone and call into your pr bond you've not even done orientation yes, I'm, I'm revoking your pr bond oh no please ma'am oh, listen, yes. listen i i am i am going to oh, call i yes, I, I have am. a i called him i called him and i left a message ma'am i called him i did i called him on the on the third day that i was on on the monday after i got out i called him and left a message and he should have that message. You said you I did not avoid him, ma'am. I had no no intention to avoid any of this. You know that that is exactly what I was afraid of. And I, I mean, I knew it was going to be difficult to get in touch with him, but I did call him. I called the office right on Monday. You left a message yes. on eight twenty three. Yes, ma'am. Okay, he called you back that day. He called you eight twenty five. Okay. He called you eight twenty six. He called you nine eight. Well, ma'am, I apologize. It's just that I, like I say, I have to use somebody else's phone, and and I really don't like to bother her too much, you know. I mean, and and uh, you know, it's kind of embarrassing to have to come over here and borrow a phone, but I mean, I do it when I can, and it's it's. Uh, but I'll call him right away. Um, no, sir, I, I mean, your today. PR bond. You don't need to revoke. Please, you don't need to call him. I'm revoking your PR bond. He got out of jail Please. when, Mr. Um, Judge, I, I mean no, I mean no disrespect out. to anybody. Mr. 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 Castaneda, when did he get out of jail? I'm pulling it up right oh, now. On 813. From 813 to 99, three weeks, almost a whole month, 30 days. You can't do orientation for your PR bond, Mr. Calderon. That's ridiculous. Judge, I'm looking at 819. Is when he was able to post the, the well, surety component. He has it. Oh, okay. Okay. He says here, Mr. Victor Calderon was granted a PR bond on 813, but I guess he posted it on 819. Correct, Judge. Okay. And so then you called on 823, but Mr. Uh, Fausto Rodriguez has called you one, two, three, four times. He talked to Sylvia. I'll call him right. I'll call him right away. I just, I mean, I'm not. I, I just haven't. Uh, I don't oh, know. Why? I thought he was supposed to get in touch with me first. Man, please do not. I, I mean, I'll. 
for the life. Of, I mean, I just, I'll call him right now and I will take care of the problem. I'll go to orientation today if I have to. I mean, whatever I have to do, I'll do it, but then I'll take care of it. And, and I will say, Judge, Mr. Calderon has never been, there's never been an issue getting a hold of him. Um, he should have known better to, to, but I think that this, this is definitely, you know, the importance is definitely being stressed, Your Honor. Um, but he, he's, he's always been very accessible to our office. Uh, I don't believe he's uh, running anywhere. Ma'am, if, if I, I, it's because the bond people, the surety bond, I had, a, I was trying to locate somebody to do as, as well as a co-signer. And it was just very difficult because, you know, the fam, my family's fighting with me. You know, they want to, they want to take me out of the place where I'm living. And it's, you know, and I'm just trying to help, you know, clean up because the, the grass is, I mean, it's, it's, you know, I'm trying to help my dad and I apologize. I'm just, uh, I mean, the, the, I came back to the house and it was just, I mean, the grass is like, you know, it's almost three feet and nobody did anything but complain about me. And, and I, you know, I apologize. I'm, I'm very sorry, but it's just one of those things where I, I got sidetracked on trying to, trying to get out of, keep out of jail from the, from the surety bond people as well, you know, calling them every day, letting them know that I, that I was still looking for somebody to sign for me because I couldn't find anybody. And, you know, I, I apologize too for not, for not calling the PR bond, but I, I, I will do it right now. And like I said, if I have to go do the class, I will, I'll do it. I do orientation. I'll go right now. Hello. I'm here, Mr. Mr. Calderon. Um, it is two twenty right now. Um, I'm going to send you to go get a UA. Will you be positive okay. or negative? And you better not lie to me. I want the truth. So you want me to just tell you instead of go? Is that what you're going to say? I, I mean, I'll probably be. I mean, I'd probably be positive, I guess. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I will be. Positive for what? Uh, you know, I don't know. But just <laughs> anyhow, yeah, just just for a substance, I guess. Or do you want me to tell you which one? Or I want you to tell me all of them. No, there's only one, ma'am. What is it? It's the it's uh you know the it's uh, you know I don't know how to say it, rock salt. <laughs> I guess I don't really like to say the name. You know, I try to keep it to myself. I'm not really, you know, I'm not really, I don't have much contact with anybody, but yeah, you know, uh, it's one of those so things where I, I try to work with it just because I use it for, for like joint pain and, you know, this, I mean, I, I get up and do my, you know, it's like, it's very hard to work outside um, sometimes. And I just use it as an aid, you know, um, sure, you know, sometimes sure. I, I, I don't eat the best as well. So I, you know, it, it kind of just gets me through the pain, I guess that's the only thing. You know, or the bother, I guess, is what it is. Yes, ma'am. Are you done? Yes, I'm, I apologize. Mr. Calderon, rock salt, is that crack cocaine? No, it's called, it's just ice is what it is. Is it meth? Crystallized I meth? I don't know. I don't, I don't think so because it's not, I've done, you know, back in when I was a kid, I've done that and that's totally different. It is not. It's, it's something different. It's just a... It's it's more of a, a relaxing kind of deal where you just concentrate on, you know, if you're gonna work, you're gonna work, and you're just relaxed, and you're you're not thinking about all your problems, and you're just you know you're get, able to to just do what you need to do, you know. It's this constant like uh you know it's like I don't I'm sorry. And it's rock salt is what you call it. Well, I call it I call it a lot of things, but I but I necessarily don't don't like to be involved in the uh, in the um, what do you say the the, the problem side of it or however you want to say it it's just uh you know i use it because i like you know that's it's inexpensive and it just and it lasts for a little while and i just you know it's not a lot like you have to consume a lot and you're not you're not um you know involved i mean i i really it doesn't it do anything for me but make me you know work and kind of you know concentrate on staying home not going yeah. out it, it stops me from drinking um you know i've always appreciated it for that it stops me from using other drugs and, um, what is you it? Know, I, tell, I, me, tell me the street name of it. You said you call it a lot of other things. What is the street name of rock? I just salt? ice is what I I think it's just ice is what it is. That's how they call. That's what they call it. I don't know or anybody really, but I just see it as. So as, um, what is it? What is it? Is it an opiate? What is it? You're asking me. I I would say it's a um, uh, or like a a. a 
I don't know, maybe a benzo or something like a mix, but just, just, um, I don't know. I, I really don't know, man. I just, it's not, it's not something I really, uh, like, you know, spend much time thinking about, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I don't really like to, I do. I don't know. I don't really like to know what the effect it has on me, but I just want to kind of go with it. You know, it's, it's really not a negative is one it, because I stay a lot calmer law? and is it against the law, Mr. Calderon? Well, it, well, it is, ma'am. It is. But nothing that I do, well, I, I don't do anything against the law, I tell you that. I'm, I'm very well behaved. I stay home. I stay home. I'm at the stop, house. I work. Stop, and, please. And I, stop, okay. All right. Stop, Mr. Calderon. I apologize. This substance, it's just it. using, this substance you're using is against the law. I'm going to ask that you go get UAID right now before it closes at four. You're going to go... Okay. Get you aid before four o'clock. Then, okay, Mr. Mr. Uh, we I will see what we are going to do about his PR bond, whether I revoke or not. I want to know what this rock salt is, Mr. Carmona. I want to know what we're dealing with. You will come back, Mr. Calderon, at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning so that we can discuss this rock salt issue as well as your issue about failing to report to your PR bond. Mr. Mr. So go ahead, Mr. Well, let me ask another thing. This number that you have right now here that ends in 506, is it your phone number, Mr. Calderon? No, ma'am, it, it is not. It is not. Is it Sylvia's phone? It is It is Sylvia's phone, yes, ma'am. Okay, so you're not embarrassed right now to use Sylvia's phone, but you've been embarrassed to call your PR bond officer. Well, I mean, I am embarrassed to use it, I'm, I, but I mean, I have to. I mean, that's what I'm saying because of the court. And so I, well, I figured that to. they would get in touch with me since I was calling once, since I was calling the PR bond once a month. Well, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see the, the amount or, I don't know. I what I said it was just calling the report to make sure that I lived in the same place that I said I was. What really happened? for the courts, so that I showed up for the bond. Actually, no, I didn't happened? understand that it was so. I Mr. apologize, Calderon, Mr. Calderon. What's happening is you want to continue to use rock salt, whatever that is, and so you don't want to report to your PR bond officer because no, you no, that's not the reason why, ma'am. I'm report, not. In, I, don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me if you. Re don't report okay. if you report to your PR bond officer. They're going to tell you to go get a UA, and you don't want to go get a UA. So no, I go. I'll go do a UA. That's that's fine. I would have done a UA. I mean, I have no problem with that, man. I'm I'm not I'm not trying to hide from you or anybody. I'm not trying to get away with anything. You know, I'm not I'm not really like, um, you know, I'm not I'm not trying to you know, I'm not trying to do anything but do my work and and just remain in a, in a good mood, you know, in a good mood. It doesn't allow me to, you know, to even get angry at all or, or, or mad Mr. or Calderon, make myself dysfunctional. Mr. Calderon, just, yes, just, sir. just do the test. Just, just do the test, ma'am. Do the test. Okay, I, I am. I'll do that. Yeah, I will. Mr. Mr. Carmona will give you the Zoom link tomorrow. So you need to show okay. up tomorrow at 10 o'clock. I want to know what we're dealing with here. I'm going to let you go right now, Mr. Uh, Calderon. You need to call your PR bond officer. You mm -hmm. need to ask them where you need to go. And you better be there by 4 o'clock. If you don't go get a UA by 4 o'clock, I'm going to issue out a bench warrant today, sir. Yes, ma'am. So, okay. so when I go, when I go, say, do the UA, I'm going to go right now. Um, I just, I'll tell them to send the, the, uh, just that I went or do, the, do you want the results as well today? They know what to do. You tell your PR, your okay. PR bond officer knows what to do, sir. Thank you. you okay. Better I, right I, I'm still going to call him. Okay. All right. I will. I'm, I'm on my way right now when I get off the phone. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Okay. Kukana, Thank you. Okay. We're going to see you tomorrow at uh, yes, Your Honor. the settlement conference right now, right? Right. Mr. Mr. Avila, what are you offering, Mr. Calderon? But so there was a TDC rec, and I'm considering probation on this. Um, the the complaining witness West in this. Texas. I'm sorry. He needs West Texas. He needs West Texas. He needs a facility. If we're going to put him on probation, we need to help him, and I think he needs West Texas at best. Right. And what is uh, what is rock salt? Does anybody know? 
I know what it is, Judge, but I'll let the results speak for itself. No, tell me. Go on ahead, Mr. Avila. Go on ahead. It's it's meth. It's uh, ice, rock salt. It's meth. It's meth. It's meth. And he's so manic. Okay. He needs help. Well, I mean, I. I'm sorry. I Mr. apologize. I, I'm not. I'm not sure that uh that Mr. I mean Calderon. I can't hear, but. Yes, Mr. No. Calderon, your attorney said you can leave now. Sir. You need to go get that test. You don't go get that test. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna a bench warrant. You don't need to be sitting here. You need to okay. go get that test. Thank you. All righty. Thank you. I, I have a good day. Bye bye. What's what was the offer in this case? It was a TDC rec. I believe it was four. But you're, uh, but you're thinking. But considering probation, the only issue, Judge, that I have in this case is that the. Um, the complaining witness in this case has a pending case and she's being represented by the public defender. So I'm probably going to be bugging Amanda and uh, Felix on this. Is this, um, it, was this Sylvia? The person he's with? No, Judge. No, oh. the, the person that he's with is is not the complaining witness. Okay. Okay. So we're going to think of probation, but I think I want to help him. I think he needs West Texas, Mr. Carmona, you can talk to him, you know, later on today or whenever, but we'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Yes? Thank you, Judge. Thank you. You may be excused. Have a great day. Now I'm on page seven. You as well. Thank you. I'm on page seven with Iglesias. That was Manny Parra, but Manny Parra is not here present. He asked for a reset. Are we on Candido Infante? Yes, yes ma'am. Good. At this time, court calls 2021-1791, Candido Infante, announcement of counsel, please. Josh Avila for the state judge, state ready. Amanda Enriquez on behalf of my client, Mr. Infante. Judge, he is in custody. I would ask that we waive his presence. So wait, what's the offer? Uh, the offer in this case is two TDC judge with considering probation. Two TDC okay. with probation? Or I'm considering probation as well. Too. Oh, okay. I said you said two TDC or probation. I'm thinking, what? Mm -hmm. But you're considering it. Okay, right. Ms. Enriquez, that's good. I think that's that's a good start. Um, I did see that Mr. Avila posted it today, I, earlier today. I just need time sure. to talk to my client to see where we're at, Judge. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's set this up in about two to three weeks. Reset, please. With probation, I think it could be settled. Your next one. Please. I, I believe it's Rodante. David Ray. It's not a Roden. Rod David Rod Ray Roden. What about is you don't have Jesus Ornelas? Uh no, ma'am. That might be Mr. Luce. Okay. That's mine, Your Honor. Okay, let's do Roden 2021-113. David Roden. Announce on the council, please. Josh Ravila for the state judge. Stay ready. Ben Enriquez on behalf of my client, Mr. Is it Roden? Rodin or Rodin or I don't know, Roden. Very well, he's in jail. You want to waive his presence? Yes, ma'am. What's the offer? Uh, Judge, I don't know if you remember, this is a gentleman that we had a plea date and um, he said Mr. Macias forced him. Now we, oh, the defender's there. Oh, yes. Right. There was a probation break in there. Yeah, and you, I, Mr. Avila did send me the paperwork again. Um, I did get access to Portal Tuesday. Um, I haven't finished reviewing everything just to give Mr. Mr. Rodent my opinion with regards to what, if, whether or not this is doable. I can do it since I got access Tuesday, Judge. I could do a really quick turnaround. I know he's in custody and the offers probation. Um, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Two weeks it is. Thank you. Well, we set this in two weeks. Ms. Enriquez, did you have another one? No, ma'am, that's all for me. Thank you. You may be excused. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We're back with uh, Mr. Robledo, Daniel Robledo, please. We've got Blue Celeste Montoya. Hi, Judge. How are you? I'm doing real well, thank you. Good. 2020-6710, Montoya, announcement of counsel, please. Uh, Josh Avila for the state judge, state ready. Your Honor, Daniel Robledo represents my client, Maria Your Honor. Ms. Montoya, you're present, correct? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Montoya, do you recognize your attorney, Mr. Robledo? Yes, ma'am. And Mr. Robledo, do you recognize your client as the defendant in this case? Yes, Judge. Let the record reflect that both have identified each other. What's the offer, Mr. Avila? 
please. Because on this case, I, I think that there was a, I think there was a state jail offer. Uh, I think Mr. Robledo had asked for the copy of the arrest warrant, correct? The arrest affidavits, yes. Right, the arrest affidavits. And I, I found it and it should have been uploaded. It was it was part of the where is it? It was part of when she was arrested, right? Uh, there was an arrest yes. warrant that was issued there, so I should have that uploaded. Uh, but okay. if I can find it, so we'll need a little bit of time to review that, Mr. Robledo. Correct? Right. And yes, just yes. this is another sure. one where CPS okay. records are pending as well. I I okay. haven't gotten those yet. So I, I, ha I don't have the ability to get the protective order from you. Uh, but once I get those, I'll process them and I'll send them over to Mr. Are we Judge, on these, on, on these protective, on these uh, CPS records, it takes quite a while to get them. Uh, I had one in the 120th that took over 60 to 90 days uh, to acquire them. I don't know if that's going to happen here. Uh, Mr. Avila, did they tell you when we'll, you'll be expecting the CPS records? So uh, I didn't. Uh, these records were requested back in October. So I asked for a follow up there to see where those are. If I have to request them brand new, I've seen records come in within 30 days. Uh, but I've also seen them come in, like you said, within three months. Uh, there's. November, December, <laughs> January, February. Should I continue? Right, it's Jeff. almost a year. What are you saying, Mr. Avila? It's been a year since you made the initial request and they didn't well, have I, I didn't request it. It was requested by the attorney that was that, that made the initial request, Judge. But as we've seen in many of these cases, Judge, there was something lost in the transition. Right. The, 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 the request may have been lost. The the uh, the the emails asking for the request may have been lost. Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Avila. Mm -hmm. The transition wasn't with CPS. The transition was with the DA's office. That should have nothing to do with the fact that they don't turn over records or turn over records. Correct. It's CPS we're talking about. The we have a, do, yeah, Judge, do we even do, do we have a, do we even a response? from CPS uh, as to what's going on with the records? Uh, any response from them? I have nothing. The, on, the, on, the, on the case notes from the people that, that have it in intake, all I have is the offense code that it was accepted under, a sentence that says requested CPS records, and then another line that says no media presented with the case. You know, in this particular case, I have no qualms, no qualms. Sending it up for a discovery hearing, you issue out your subpoenas, and we right. do it in two or three weeks. Right, Judge. That's what I, I, I do want to kind of give the court a heads up. I think this is the first hearing we've ever had in this case, I think. No, I recognize this beautiful young lady. Miss Blue Celeste Montoya, you've been here before, right? I met you in, when I was incarcerated. You gave me my PR. That's the last time? Uh, Mr. Avila's correct, Judge. Can you hear me? Uh, the, very the very first time was the, uh, was the motion to reinstate her on PR because she wasn't on your PR bond. She was with the, uh, the magistrates. And she was in there for, I believe, 41 days or something to that effect. And uh, we, we, uh. we got her out. Mr. Mr. Avila, we dropped the ball. I guess the court dropped the ball on this case and we never set it up for any hearings. It's a 2020 case. I don't understand why this is the first hearing, but you may be right. This may I be think I think it was maybe it was an unarrest judge. I, I, that may have been it. I don't know. I don't know. But you know what? When there's a there is a request that I mean, whatever the court did to drop the ball, whatever the transition with the DA's office that had nothing to do with CPS's ability or non-ability to turn over the stuff. Right. And this uh, particular uh, case, when you're telling me there's a request for almost a year ago and they haven't complied. OK, well, maybe, judge, they, maybe they the, dropped the ball, too. So let's just right. set it up for a three week subpoena discovery 
Yes, Judge. And I, I've had several of these, Judge, where there was there was a note from the previous administration where they requested right. records. Right. And somehow I asked my secretary and they're all like, we don't know who it was requested to. We don't know who to go to. And well, there's that. I know, but at least this way, it's been a year. So right. I think in three weeks, you guys can say, okay, turn it into me, do this. And then they don't need to show up for any hearing. That's why I'm giving you three weeks. Absolutely, Judge. We're going to do a discovery hearing in three weeks, Mr. Robledo. Not only that, Mr. Robledo is absolutely right. These CPS records take forever. I think if we operated more with subpoenas and hearings and all of that, they'll come over quickly. Trust me. So, and my investigator does those, Judge. He, he sure. generates a subpoena and he sends it Perfect. to them as well. Perfect. So we're going to set this up. When is the three weeks from this, from tomorrow? Mr. Jesse Carrion, three weeks from tomorrow's date is what? It is October 1st, Judge, and you had said uh, to put those 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. discovery, subpoena for CPS records. Very good. So that's when it's going to be, Mr. Josh. So let's set it up and let's get that quickly. Judge, the, the code that I have is discovery compliance hearing. Is that okay? That's beautiful. Okay. That sounds okay. so scary and so professional. I love it. Maybe okay. it's their CPS to get these records. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Avila, let me ask you another dumb question. Yes, Judge. Do you not like to do subpoenas because you don't want to offend these agencies because you work with them? Or no, actually, Judge, I love doing those. They they oh, work faster. Okay. They they work faster and under um, fear. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh, I should say. But okay. See, it's more effective this way. Okay, because you've you've shown a little bit of you know, Judge. Let me wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. I thought maybe oh. it messes up your relationship with them or something. No, know. Judge, but I, I, I've always disliked doing duplicate requests, right? Where I've had an agency come up, uh, email me and is like, hey, bro, these records were requested two years ago. And I'm like, well, when, when do we get them, right? That, well, then, if you had, if you had uh, produced them two years ago, we wouldn't be here talking about it two years later, right? Okay. Yes. Okay, Mr. Robledo, we're going to see you in three weeks regarding this discovery compliance hearing. Yes, ma'am, I, I appreciate that. You be careful, stay safe, everybody. Thank you. You, you too, Judge. Right. Take care of yourself. Ms. Matoya, you be careful, Matoya, stay Matoya, safe. Thank you. thank you, Mr. Robledo. See you later. Bye -bye. See you later. See you later, <laughs> Ms. Montoya. Have a great day, Judge. Sorry. You too. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, Amanda Muniz. Mr. Robert Perez. Mr. Perez, are you, are you? Yeah. I'm here. R 2020 Amanda Muniz, announcement of council, please. Josh Avila for the state judge, state ready. Robert Perez for Amanda Muniz. And Ms. Muniz, you're present, right? You're, you're on mute, Ms. Muniz. You wanna get off of mute? I'm asking you, there you go. Yes, ma'am, I'm here, thank you. Good, Ms. Muniz, do you recognize your attorney, Mr. Perez? I did earlier. My computer is a little glitchy. I can hear, but I can't see anything. Okay. Do you did you recognize his voice? Or did you get a chance to hear his and recognize it? You want to talk again? I think she's frozen. You want, can you hear me? Hello. Hello can you hear me now? I can hear you. Yes. Okay. I can hear everyone. I just can't see anybody anymore. Oh, My computer is okay. a little glitchy. Okay. Well, we're staring at you. So we're all here. Okay. We can see you and hear you loudly and clearly. Ms. Muniz, do you recognize okay, great. do you recognize your attorney's voice? Yes, ma'am, I do. And Mr. Perez, do you recognize your client as a defendant in this case? Yes, Your Honor. At the record reflect that both have identified each other. Okay, Mr. Perez, talk to me. You want to file you filed a motion to modify PR bond. That's correct, Your Honor. My client is in a high risk pregnancy. And she has to blow into an apparatus every three or four hours. And so that complicates her sleep patterns. So we were asking that those conditions be changed. My understanding, she's been compliant, has not had any problems. She's been blowing and blowing a lot. 
Right. And if there was an issue, I'm sure PR would have contacted you. However, we have an issue that um, the conditions that they're asking her for PR are a bit onerous. And given that she has the, the, the pregnancy issues, we're asking that those be changed. Okay. Ms. Muniz, how many months pregnant are you? I'm nine months already. I'm in my third trimester. Oh my God. So you're going to deliver. Yes. Congratulations. First of all, to you, Mr. Thank Mr. You. you have to understand that at nine months, there's no sleep. You don't sleep period. I don't care with a monitor device, without a monitor. You don't sleep in the nine month of pregnancy. Mr. Perez, you give up sleeping. I such a bad case of insomnia. It's terrible. God makes mothers their their suffering process for children begins eight and well, it begins since they get pregnant. But at eight and nine months, you don't sleep. You can't eat. You can't walk. You can't. Uh. So we're just still asking, and she's been compliant. She's done everything that's been asked of her. Um, so we're just asking if perhaps if those conditions can be lessened. That's a little bit. Ms. Moniz, right offhand, do you know the times that you test? Yes, ma'am. Five in the morning, seven, uh, nine in the morning, seven o'clock at night, okay, and 10 o'clock at night. Hang on, you need to, you need to tell me again because you're, you're confused. Okay. You came in and... What are your times of testing again? Okay. In the afternoon. Okay, you're glitchy. Can you chat and put in your times? Put it in chat. Just type in the times that you take. Okay. And she's been on, Mr. Castaneda, while she's chatting and letting you know. Um, this PR bond was imposed when, Mr. Castaneda? It was uh, filed back on September 10th of last year. It is a JMAG bond, Judge. It is not the court's bond. So if it's a jail magistrate bond, she's not testing six times a day. Like I require. It should be four, right? I'm sorry? It, it should be four. JMAG does four windows. I don't know. Five, nine, 12, four, seven, and 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. She does have 10. Well, Mr. Mister, but if you look at those times, she's getting plenty of sleep. She tests at 10 o'clock, and then she tests again at 10 p.m., then she tests at 7, Mr. Perez. That's plenty of time to sleep. Plenty of times for the DA to see that she's not drinking either. So I know, but this is a DWI third and she's pregnant. I understand. Yeah. So I'm not gonna she she has 10 o'clock in the evening, 12 to 7. She has nine hours to sleep. About. Now I guarantee you she's not sleeping nine hours. So she's got plenty of time. I'm not gonna modify the terms. I'm not gonna modify the terms. I think those are those are appropriate terms. So I am going to modify. Does she have, um, I want to put her on my PR bond. Have we worked some kind of an agreement out though? Can we no, we haven't, John. It's the first time we have court with you. Okay, good. good. Can we work? What do you offer? To we can settle it rather than amend your PR bond. Uh, I'm offering eight years probation, Judge. Eight years probation. What do you think? Probation is always good, Mr. Perez. What do you think? I haven't discussed that because we didn't see an offer in the portal, but I will get with her and we will advise the court as soon as possible. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep the bond the way it is. We're going to reset this for a couple of She could give birth, though. I mean, she's. I understand. Maybe, maybe she's in a couple of weeks and we should have some kind of an answer yeah. for you. Yeah, let's do that. That. let's do it in a couple of weeks if she's indisposed of if she's delivered then we can either reset or you can tell us if she accepts it and then we'll set up the plea like six weeks after 
because she needs to have time to, you know. Yes, Your Honor. Rehabilitate, right? So it would be six weeks after. Well, let's set this up for two weeks before I amend any PR bond. Because I want to put her on a stricter bond, my PR bond. But I won't do that if we have an agreement. And she's been living by this PR bond very good. I thank you for that, Ms. Muniz. So we'll just take it from there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, all you need to be excused. Thank you, Mr. Perez. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thanks. Have a great day. The next one is Jesus Ornelas. Is that you, Mr. Blue? Yes, Judge, that is me. At this time, court calls 2021-1727, Jesus Ornelas. Announcement of counsel, please. Josh Avila for the state judge, state treaty. Carl Luth, on behalf of Mr. Ornelas, Your Honor, the defense is ready and we request that his presence be waived. So wait, he's in jail. What's the offer? Picked up new theft. Right, Judge. There is a, there are, I'm, I'm counting one, two, three, five. There's five really? cases that are pending indictment for Mr. Ornelas, mm -hmm. uh, three of which have already been presented to our pending presentation. Uh, the theft ones primarily are the ones that haven't been presented. He went um, on a on a spree. Is that what allegedly happened? Uh, I don't know if it was a spree, Judge, but there were there, there was like there was like another a, a drug charge in the middle of it, and then there was a vehicle part thefts, and then um, an unauthorized use of motor vehicle. I'm okay. not too sure if they're all related. Okay. Well, he was picked up for offenses that occurred on 813 and 825. So between those two dates, he picked up four or five or six cases. Oh, no, Judge, those are from before. As one of these is from May. Another one is from April of this year. And then another one's from July and then August, I believe. Okay, I haven't seen... I haven't seen anything on the August one yet. It's not showing any P files, so I didn't. I don't even know what that is. I, I didn't see any P files either, but I saw the the booking on August and. Mister, yeah, Mister Castaneda, do you have P files on the thefts on eight thirteen and eight twenty five? I just, I I just see the weird MC five A. I'm not sure. That's it. That, yeah, but I don't I do know what that a, is. I do see a P file attached to that. What? Um. I can give it to you all if you're ready to write it down. Write it down, everybody. Yeah, I'll write it down as well. It's yeah. a 2021 P file 08224. Mm. No, that's the April theft. 8224. Okay. Well, how yeah, come, Mr. Mr. Jesse, where did you get an 813 theft and an 825-21 theft? Uh, let me check, Judge. I don't remember off the top of my head. Let's see if you can help us. Out. I see. I do see a, a, a booking on 813. That was a Class B misdemeanor. Mm -hmm. It was a uh, the, the P file ending in 7831. Correct. It was... Uh, who are we on? Because uh, we're on Ornelas, 2021-1727, Mr. Jesse. Okay, so you want a little bit more time? Is that what we want to get all the cases before us, but you want a little bit more time, Mr. Avila, Mr. Luth, to get all the cases together and see what we have? Uh, yes, yes, Judge, please, and, and Mr. Avila, if you can check, I mean, I looked on Odyssey and it was just listed as unfiled, but there's an assault from February. So that's seven months ago and it's still a P file. Let me and see. there's an EPO in March that's also still a P file. So um, it's taking a long time to get cases presented, I guess. Right. I, I think the BPO got consolidated in the felony BPO. Uh, oh. Where is it? Am I frozen? No. Oh. Uh, what's his name again? Ornelas. Yes. <clears throat> the assault on February.
It's taking forever to load. Ah, uh, there it is. The one on February. Ooh. Excuse me, you're not boring. <laughs> I'm just. The, 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 the February one is accepted. It got presented to us in June. Uh, why there haven't been any movements, I, I don't know. Uh, the last movement was in July, so I'll, I'll send an email on that one. Mr. Carrion, do you know anything about 813 and, 8, and 825? Uh, yes, there was a theft, vehicle parts, that is a misdemeanor that was on August 13th, and then uh, August 25th, there's a theft uh, that he was booked on on the 25th of August. And that one's, I think, 2021 20, P file 8224. Is that what you guys have? 8224. Correct. That's, yeah. And, and then if, I, if I'm if i looking at this correctly, Judge, then a PR uh, KPS was issued on the the 2021 case because of these new offenses. Okay. Thank you. That's why he's been in jail for 10 days. Got it. Okay. Do we need a little bit, a little bit more time, counsel? Yes, Judge. Well, I, at the very least, the thefts need to be presented because everything else seems to have been presented. Okay. See what you can do, Mr. Avila. This judge, is stuff uh, from, uh, if I may judge, just so the court is aware, uh, there was a request for a bond hearing, so that has been scheduled for the 17th at 8 a.m. 17th of? Of oh. uh, September, I'm sorry. Got it. Very good. Okay. Well, hear it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Carrion. Okay, Mr. Lou, thank you, sir. You may be excused on that one. Did you have another one, Mr. Lou? Yes, Judge. I also have Mr. Cesar Baez. Your request that was just presently waived as well. Thank you. 2021-1841 and 832. Cesar Baez. Announcement of counsel, please. Josh Avila for the state judge, state trader. Carl Luth on behalf of Mr. Baez, Your Honor, the defense is ready. And you've waived his presence off the record, right? Uh, yes, Judge. We ask that we waive his presence as well. He's not on the PR bond issue, is he, Mr. Castaneda? I'm looking. Is there bias? No, Judge. Rub it on. Thank you. So waived. What's the offer, Mr. Avila? I think the offer was TDC, Judge. I don't remember if it was five or four. Yes, there, there, there was an offer, Judge. Um, I haven't looked at it as of late since the last setting. Um, I have been in discussion with Mr. Baez. There's some evidence um, and information I think is relevant that he's trying to obtain, but it's off of an old Facebook account and he doesn't remember how to log in or his login credentials. Um, and so I've urged him to figure that out as soon as possible so that I could provide you know, the information that he has to the state to see if we can continue to work on this. Okay. Uh, on this case, Judge. Okay. So, Mr. Luth, you want three weeks to try to break into a Facebook account? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, he said he's having issues, Judge. With all due respect to my client, he's not the brightest. Um, so, I, okay. I think that's part of it. Um, I explained to him just to try every email and password he's ever used to, until he figures it out because, I mean, we, I think that information is absolutely important and relevant to his situation. Well, what you can do, because I've got my Facebook got hacked, what you can do is just ask. He needs to submit some kind of identifying information and they'll recover his account. But okay. he has to provide an email address that's a, that is, he has to provide an email address that's attached to that account. So he's going to have to jar his memory there. And then yeah. he's going to have to provide some kind of identifying info to prove that that's, that that's who he is and this is me. And this is my I think opinion. it's one of those, and I've been in the situation as well, Judge, where you don't remember the information and then you request, you know, that the passwords be reset, but it gets sent to an email that you also don't remember the information for, okay. so you have to figure okay. out how to get it to the okay. email. Okay, yeah, it's a mess. Okay. So, um, I'll give you three weeks, three weeks about the thing. I appreciate that, Judge. I'll give him a call and let him know that he's got about three weeks to see if he can figure it out. Great. Great. Okay, we'll reset that one. Thank you, Mr. Luke. Have a great day.
Yes, ma'am. I think, yeah, that does it for me today. Thank you, Judge. It does. Thank you. The last one is Daniel Gonzalez. Thank you, you too, Mr. Carl, I have those two plea paperwork. I'm going to send you right now, okay? Oh, still too late, man. Now I got to make the drive out to the ad next. So that for I'm tomorrow? Gonna, yeah, see, schedule. that's that's the fun Friday. <laughs> yeah, it's all good, man. Hi, I appreciate you getting on it. Thank you. No problem. Bye, <laughs> Carl. Have a good one, sir. Okay, Mr. Daniel Gonzalez, we're ready for you. Javier Vargas, 2020-26. 99 announcement of council, please. Josh Havilov is state judge, state ready. Daniel Gonzalez and Mr. Vargas, your honor, ready. This is a motion to suppress. What? It's about three hours, judge. That's all it's going to take. Just kidding. About three hours. <laughs> uh, jo Josh and I talked about it. There's Presence. not a statement. There's not a statement. This is a co defendant case, judge. Um, and really, I'm just going to, I just want to take a look at the, the arrest, the arrest warrant, the affidavits, and, uh, I have a bunch warrant. of them. Yeah, the search warrant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just have others, you know, I don't want to, this is one of those cases that we're not going to be able to work it out. I think he's going to miss with me with the complaining witness again next couple of weeks, Judge. Uh -huh. and I have a better idea what we're going to do because then it's going to turn into one of those cases where there might be CPS records and blood records and so forth and all kinds of stuff that I'll start requesting. Okay. So, so what do you want me to do right now? Well, Can we waive your suppression or you want to reset it to see if, or what? I, Judge, I mean, I, I I foresee. I just want to take a look at the warrant and the 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 underlying information. But in reference to the statement, I can waive that right now to the court because there is no statement. So really, it was more about the warrant. I jumped the gun because of oh. the. I was concerned because of, I wanted to make sure I had everything filed earlier this week because okay. there's so many cases. I don't know what may or may not go, and I just want to make sure I'm protecting my clients. But okay. honestly, okay. So, I don't have a problem leaving so, it on the record right now. And if I have to re urge it, Your Honor, I can I'll, I'll approach the court if I see something. Yeah, okay. So you're going to waive it on the record right now. The motion is yeah. suppressed. Okay. Um, have there been negotiations? Have you tried to work something out? Or in this kind of case, we can't work anything out? We're trying. We're trying, Judge. Yes. Good. Okay. Great. So then let's set this up for what was your last offer? Well, let's just talk a little bit. What was your last offer, Mr. Avila? I think there was there was a 20 TDC wreck in this case, Judge. Uh, I've been in discussions with a complaining witness. I've actually met her for the first time last month. Um, I'm scheduling routine meetings with her. And then I'm, I'm, I promised Mr. Gonzalez and Mr. James Ray, the attorney of the co-defendant, kind of updates of what I see and the prospects of trial. Okay. Okay. So then I guess we'll set this up for 20. Was that your rec, 20 TDC? I, that was, uh, what's the his name? The first one was 25. It was 25. And then I think David Nunez brought it down to 20. I, if the facts are taken as true, Judge, I wouldn't entirely disagree with it. Mm. But that was a big, if the facts are taken as true. Correct. And, and that's kind of, Kind of where I'm at, Judge, is because given the allegations and the age of the complaining witness and so forth, and the witnesses involved, there's probably going to be substantial discovery. But I kind of wanted to see where Mr. Obvious stands, and then I can commute with Mr. Vargas. The Rex 25, yeah, I'm going to have to start gearing it all up. But you know, I'm hoping that given the information I provided to him yesterday, that maybe we, we can he'll see something and see maybe there may or may not be some Brady material. I don't know, Judge. We'll see. Okay, so let's set this up for another two to three weeks. That's fine. Will that give you time, Mr. Avila, to look over all the stuff and see? Make a yes, Judge. How long, Judge? You want three weeks or you want four? You tell me. He's out of jail. You want four? Uh, well, Judge, I don't know. Do you want to set it with the co-defendant? I think this was an outlier because it was set for a motion to suppress. Yeah. Yes. Let's set it with a co-defendant. When is the co-defendant? Who is the co-defendant? Um... Do we have a cause number so we can Leonel see? Vargas. Oh, okay. That's father and son. Yes, you're that's right, Judge. Yes. He's in Leonel Vargas. He's on probationary court, Judge. I think on he's on probation. Out of my I thought. I thought, Your Honor. No, he's just no? in jail, Judge. He's just in jail. Okay. One person's in a wheelchair. The other one is not in a wheelchair in this case. Who is it? My client's in a wheelchair, Your Honor. So your client is the father? Yes, Your Honor. 
Okay. And Leonel is in jail. Is this the one that is represented by Mr. Danny Mena? Thomas Ray, Judge. Thomas Ray. Okay. Okay. When is Leonel's next hearing, Mr. Castaneda? Uh, September 30th of this month, Judge. Is that enough time if we do both on September 30th, Mr. Avila? Yes, Judge. I have all of my deadlines okay. together with the, the Leonel Vargas one. Okay. So let's put this up for September 30th, you said, right, Mr. Castaneda? September 30th, right, Judge. Trial defendant Leonel. Okay. Try to work something out. Anything else in this case, Mr. Gonzalez? No, Your Honor. No, Judge. Judge, Very quickly, Thank I you. think if we end up going to trial, Judge, we would like to possibly go on the son's case first. Uh, on on, on Mr. Mr. Leonel Vargas's case, yes, yes. Okay, okay. So we'll we'll make put that on Leonel's to be first. Okay, okay. We'll put that somewhere. Where can we put that so that way, Mr. Carrion? Where do we put that note? Maybe with you, Mr. Mr. Salazar, put it on the dock it. so that way, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Carrion can get it. Okay, we're good. Thank you all. You may be excused. Have a great day. You have a great day, Judge. Nice to hear everybody. Thank you. Bye, Bye Mr. Carlos. Bye. Bye, Mr. Dan Gonzalez. Are we done, Mr. Rick? Uh, we Mr. just need Rick? that William Sanchez. Mm -hmm. That was Mr. Ivy's. Yes, and Mr. Javier Vargas is still on, Judge. Okay, Mr. Vargas, thank you, sir. You may be excused. Mr. Ivy is, but see, he said that he's missing in action, right? Let me see. What page is he on, Mr. Rick, please? Page 10. Oh, I was there, and then I went back. Is that how could I? He has a warrant pending, Judge. Okay. Oh, he already has a warrant. He was supposed to turn himself in, actually, Sam, right? And he didn't. Uh, yes, Judge, oh, you, you had told him. Yeah, you had told him, I believe, on the 20th of August that he was supposed to turn himself in. You, he didn't. And then you issued a, a warrant. There is a surety component to the bond order. That's why we have to forfeit the surety bond now, based on the failure to appear today. That's what we're going to do, is forfeit his surety component. Okay, on the record, 2020-0207, the state of Texas versus William Sanchez, and that's going to cancel, please. Joshua, I'd love for the state judge, state ready. Very well, let the record reflect that Mr. Ivey was present this morning. He did um, inform all of us off the record this morning that Mr. William Sanchez is on the run. He's missing in action. So based on that, Mr. Salazar, can I just ask you're down at the courthouse, call out Mr. William Sanchez three times out there, please. Yes, Judge. Okay. I notice all these chats now. I didn't, wasn't noticing any chat. Everybody's chatting away. Judge, I hope you can't read mine and Josh's chat. <laughs> <laughs> these days. Oh, no. <laughs> We're going to send it to everyone. <laughs> Too many curse words. Yes, I mean. You better be careful. Nope. Sure no, response. Response. <laughs> no response, Mr. Salazar, right? Correct. No response. Motion by the state. Yes, sir. Uh, state uh, moves to revoke Mr. Sanchez's bond. Motion granted bond forfeited. The new bond amount and the amount of $100,000 will be set. Mr. Can you get that stamp from Mr. Jesse, please? Mr. Sasha, yes. Yes, Judge. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all. Okay. We're done for the afternoon, right? I'm going to stop recording.